One of the new main features regarding the version 1.2.2 app on the DJI Fly is basically the new compass. Now this is absolutely divided opinion. Some people love it, some people don't. Some people have said you, you lose that direction indicator to know where you're pointing your drone, uh, where you're pointing your control towards your drone. So actually not many people are aware of this but that is actually still there okay it just looks slightly differently so what i'm going to do is a few of you have asked for this video specifically so hopefully this will meet your expectations so obviously what i'm going to do is i'm going to start the footage now where i've gone out for a short flight and i'm just going to explain to you exactly how the new direction indicator works not only for the drone but for obviously your return to home and your controller in terms of its direction in relation to where the drone is actually uh, flying. So this is the new home screen that you're gonna be presented with. As you can see, the traditional compass has actually gone from the bottom. So we're gonna click the map in the bottom left-hand corner and then bottom right to bring up the new compass. So this is the new style compass that you're gonna to have to get used to because this is the main feature within the app version 1.2.2. So we're gonna go ahead and take off, okay? And we're gonna fly out. So the reason we need to fly out is obviously you can see there is a H point, which is your home point, which is the yellow circle. Now your actual sort of controller, your location is hidden within that. So I'm just gonna fly out a little bit now. There we go, you see. And then hopefully we're going to get that uh, little blue dot emerging. So above that blue dot, you can see there is a little arrow. Now that is actually your new indicator to advise basically which direction you are pointing your controller in relation to the drone. Okay, so as you can see, that arrow is pointing straight towards the drone. I'm not talking about the one in the middle, I'm talking about the one at the bottom. So just to show this, I'm going to turn to the left now. Okay, and you will see the little arrow move. And then what we're going to do is then obviously I'm no longer f facing the drone. So I'm now going to turn to the right. And as you can see, that little blue arrow at the bottom is actually moving. So that's showing your basically that's showing your, you know, your position in relation to the drone. So I'm just going to turn this round and then fly in because I just feel like it's easier to give you a practical demonstration. Okay, so as you can see, what obviously many people don't realise is in the very middle, that is the direction of the drone. So as you can see, the blue arrow at the top, okay, means it is now facing me. And obviously the green uh, light at the top of the arrow in the middle is the direction which you are facing. So obviously that's me on screen. I've just zoomed in. So obviously you know it's hovering above me now so obviously these are going to be reversed because obviously the drone's in a different direction but what you're going to see is again i'm just going to turn to the left okay and you'll see that indicate on the little compass below so now i'm going to turn to the right and you will see again the blue dot right at the top of the compass is now to the right so now we're going to switch back and obviously i'm going to be starting to face the drone again all right we're going to turn around um, just to show, obviously, it from the rear again. All right. So once again, just for a second demonstration, we're just going to turn to our left and then back to the right. So that really does show, guys, obviously, for, for any of you that want to know that we obviously, how you're facing the compass, okay? So what I want to talk about now is obviously that you, you know, you're director in terms of what you're facing. So obviously, as you can see, at the top of the compass you have north you have obviously the blue dot which is the location to the controller all right and you have the h which is always going to remain static because that's your home point so i'm just going to fly out just to show that obviously how you would direct yourself home obviously you can either use the map or you can use this compass so say for example you was out as you can see there by 200 meters all you would need to do is directly line up your controller with the top arrow on the drone okay which obviously indicated by the middle blue arrow and then obviously you can just gently decide to start flying towards yourself all right so now obviously we're just going to turn slightly north all right so as you can see if even though we've turned north the compass is still indicating that i'm facing the drone because i was all right obviously i physically turned myself so just to show how the sort of home point would work then we're now just going to start to fly forwards all right so as you can see if you wanted to fly home using this feature you would just continue so obviously the option the other option is obviously just to reverse up all right 
So as you can see, we're going to raise that gimbal and now we're going to start reversing up slightly. So again, it doesn't matter whether you're facing the drone or away from the drone. Obviously, if you just head that drone towards where you're facing, you're going to get home absolutely perfectly fine. I think that's a really, really cool tool. And obviously, you know, I really, really do like this new compass. I think it's so much easier for directions. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that, guys. So let's cut to the outro. So hopefully all of you found that really, really useful. Obviously, it's a really, really cool feature and I genuinely really, really like it. Um, one thing that I did actually forget to mention, my apologies inside the video, as you can see on screen now, is the new attitude indicator. Now, what the attitude indicator is, basically, it's the aircraft's attitude while it is in the air. So obviously, as you can see, um, obviously, when we're fighting a little bit of wind, the aircraft is actually banking to the right um, and that's doing that to counteract it. Uh, to come to wrap the wind so it's really really handy and it sort of makes you feel like you, you know you've got a, a false horizon on uh, on an aircraft basically you know you've got all this information there which you didn't actually have before so not only when you're up in the air can you see where your drone is and how far away it is using the the, the figures in the bottom you can now see exactly what your aircraft is actually doing while it's up in the air and i think that's a really really good feature and you know there's no real downside really and now hopefully some of you have seen that the actual aircraft indicator in terms of where you're actually pointing it is actually still there on a new app it's just in a slightly different place so thank you very much for watching don't forget i do have that literature video coming out shortly i just quickly made this one because it was somebody that you uh, something that you guys have asked for Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It really is appreciated and see you again soon.